they tell you if you sign up for the retirement, by the time you get 30 years in, you're going to have a million dollars if you say such and such. I don't know of anyone yes. over there that has a million dollars. Money is being siphoned out every year. It's like having a leaking bucket. And the chances of ending up behind the eight ball are very large. The best things in life are free, but you can give them to the birds and bees. I need More than 78 million baby boomers start surging their way into retirement in 2008, the first generation of Americans to retire with 401ks. These are employer-sponsored plans that allow workers to invest money without Uncle Sam taxing it until it's withdrawn. But something has been draining cash from these plans. Since the creation of the first 401k in the early 80s, all that extra money saved should have been compounding, revving up these retirement plans and making Americans rich. But instead, the average 401k balance for boomers near retirement is a scant $60,000. That's not much more than the median household income in the U.S. for just one year. There are a lot of reasons why 401ks are coming up short like the stock market's steep decline from its all-time high in October of 2007. A less obvious reason, in fact, a hidden reason, are all of the fees that can take a big chunk out of your investment returns. A survey done by AARP in 2007 showed 8 out of 10 respondents with 401ks didn't know the cost of their plans. That's because many of the fees, all of them legal, are buried in the fine print of obscure documents or are so confusing that might as well be written in a foreign language. Revenue sharing, wrap fees, finder fees, shelf space, surrender charges, soft, soft dollars, 12B1 fees. It's a complicated puzzle. By the U.S. Department of Labor's count, there are at least 17 different fees that can be charged to your plan. Right now, you'd be lucky to find even one of them identified by name on your account statement. And what you don't know can hurt you. If you're paying the same amount for your 401k as some of the people in this program, after 40 years of investing, you can say goodbye to half your potential nest egg. We're going to show you where to find some of these hidden fees, who's charging them, and how it's being done without you knowing it. I knew there were just a ton more fees behind there somewhere, and we just had to find them. Gerald Schneider of Bainbridge Island, Washington, fits the profile of a typical 401k investor. It's not because he's a baby boomer, Jerry is 62, or because he likes dogs. This is Harry Truman, named after Jerry's favorite president. And living in a log cabin makes Jerry pretty atypical. What makes Jerry a lot like the other 50 million 401k investors in America is that he just saw his 401k balance take a serious tumble. From the beginning of January 2008 to the end of March, Jerry lost $44,108. Those were investment losses that Jerry knew about. It's what he didn't know that's got him worried. After his losses, Jerry now has about $390,000 in his 401k. According to an independent audit of his account, Jerry would have tens of thousands more were it not for hidden fees. Jerry called his bosses at the Portland-based engineering firm, Elcon Associates, and demanded to know where all the extra fees were coming from. I said, what kind of crap is this? <laughs> and they said, well, we got what we, you know, we got this. I said, well, it's got to come from somewhere. Let's find out where it is. Well, Matt found out. Matt is Matt Hutchison, a nationally recognized retirement plan expert who in 2007 testified to Congress about hidden fees. When we buy bread, we know exactly how much it costs. One dollar buys one dollar's worth of bread. However, when it comes to 401k plans, the sticker price is advertised at 50 cents, yet the actual cost may be closer to three dollars. Hutchison does occasional audits for the U.S. Department of Labor, the federal agency that regulates retirement plans. So Bloomberg News asked him to review Jerry Schneider's account. In February 2007, Jerry received this memo from Elcon, informing him that the company running Elcon's plan, John Hancock Financial Services, 
charged annual fees amounting to one-tenth of one percent of the assets in his portfolio, or about $404. That's not what Matt Hutchison found. Jerry, it appears that you're paying approximately, uh, based on our, our findings, over 3,000 percent more than what you believed you were paying. And over a s substantial period of time, 20 plus years, that has the effect of eroding your account balance and ultimately your benefits by 40 to 60 percent. So Jerry's fees were really around 3.6 percent, and that hurt. Instead of paying $404 for his plan in 2007, he really forked over more than $14,500. Elcon Vice President Ken Pham, the company's 401k trustee, says he didn't mean to mislead anyone. He says he was only repeating what John Hancock told him. I feel that they are not being uh, very straightforward, uh, let's put it that way. Uh, Jerry, Jerry feel that uh, he was uh, cheated. John Hancock declined to appear on camera for this program. So did officials from Fidelity Investments, Nationwide, and some of the other insurance companies and investment firms that charge workers tens of billions a year to manage their retirement plans. To put this all in perspective, Jerry's 3.6% is a lot more than people ought to be paying, according to Ted Benna, the man credited with inventing the 401k back in the 80s. Benna says for most 401ks, the annual cost of the services provided, plus a fair profit margin, should add up to a ballpark average of about 1% of your total investments if you participate in a big plan. Plans that have assets of... Uh, uh, probably 10 million and you know and up uh, that's a good benchmark when you go down to the smaller employer level you probably should ratchet that up to maybe uh, one and a half percent you know is a point where you might send off alarm bells over time fees amounting to just two percent can devour half your retirement savings that's according to Bert Malkiel, Princeton economics professor, author of the bestseller, A Random Walk Down Wall Street, and a scholar who has spent decades analyzing the impact of fees on investments. Can you imagine somebody saying to you, let me invest your money for you, and when you're ready to retire, I'll take half your money away from you. If somebody ever said that, you'd say, you're crazy. I'm not going to let you do that. Edward Sedell says this problem is epidemic. Sedell used to be an attorney in the SEC's Investment Management Division. In many of the plans that he's audited, he says investors were paying 3 to 5 percent. There are some 401ks that I call lethal because they will kill you. They will absolutely kill your retirement nest egg. 